read that you had a dream that you worked with Javier Bardem and then six months later you got cast in this Probably film. Probably you did read it. <laughs> Is that true? And it, and it was true, yeah. I had, I, actually I had a lot of signs in, in my life connecting me with, you know, the future or things like that. But it was very surprising because uh, it was one year before we would start filming the, the movie. And I just had left France uh, being fed up at, at not having auditions there. So I was arriving in LA. And then I was just wondering, okay, it's so big and I feel this is such a positive uh, place with uh, everything is possible. But how am I going to do just technically to get an agent and everything? And when I slept, I had that dream with Javier Bardem and I never dream about any actresses or actors and I never did that in my life, so that was very surprising and, and I felt very uh, peaceful after that. Wow. So it was funny, one year after when I just got to meet everybody and him, there it was uh, one more sign. <laughs> well, yeah, you've been in huge movies before, obviously, in the Pirates films and yeah, Miami but Vice, like but this. yeah, why, why, is, like why does this stand out when you compare them to some of the other big franchise movies you've done? I, this, the passion, the love for these movies, the interest level, I mean, we did a press conference um, before the movie had even been shot, before we'd shot a single scene, and it went all around the world. I had friends like calling me in India saying, oh my gosh, it's so amazing, you're gonna start filming and Bond. I mean, that kind of interest I've never had on anything, even on Pirates, which, you know, I thought is absolutely so huge, you know, and it couldn't get bigger than that, but this is something else. Ask Daniel, I say, how much longer are we gonna see you as Bond? Because clearly he's, he's one of the best, if not the best, and this is the best, I think, of the three movies he's made so far. He says, well, as long as my knees hold up, and he plays it <laughs> off. But when he's on set and you guys do some physical scenes with him, how, how hard is he pushing himself? How much of his own stunts is he doing? Yeah, well, he's doing a, a hell of a lot of them, and he's pushing himself incredibly hard, and he is amazing. He really is, because he'll do like a 15-hour day and then train for two hours afterwards. Like, I mean, that is, who does that? I've never worked with anybody who does that. It's amazing. Um, and having done a little bit of what he has to do in terms of like doing stunts and so on, I now am like his biggest fan because I know how, how hard it is and how much pressure there is. You know, when you're working with uh, live ammunition and trains and scenery falling down and having to jump through windows and all this kind of thing, it's exactly. tough. You have some great moments on screen opposite Javier Bardem, who I think is worthy of an Oscar nomination this year for his performance. What's he like on set? Is he in character the whole time? Is he as menacing in person? <laughs> well, no, not, not in, in person, uh, no. This is what where, where you get to admire and see the, the talent um, in both Daniel or, uh, and Javier because they, they, they're, they're just really focused in between takes uh, doing yeah, their own work and whatever works for them in their imagination and then suddenly the, every, everything appears on screen and he, and he was uh, brilliant. This role. Switching gears a little bit, you just finished a project where you play Nelson Mandela's wife. What can you tell me about your experience as Winnie and, and working so closely with Idris Elba, one of my favorite actors? It's amazing on. working with him, but I have to say that project is the hardest thing that I've ever worked on, the most challenging role that I've ever played. Um, it took me to the darkest places I've ever been to, but I think it's going to be an incredible movie. Awesome. So I'm very excited about it coming Lastly, out next year. I'm getting the rap sign here, so I have to ask you. I asked Daniel this question, he gave me a great answer. And this is coming now from two Bond girls, so I'm looking forward to what you have to say. Who's a better Bond girl, Rihanna or Beyonce? <laughs> well, I am a big Beyonce fan, so I've got to go with Beyonce. Yeah, okay. personally, yeah. Dan Daniel said Rihanna because she's dirtier, so that's that's, that's, a, that's what 007 said. So is that, that what you need to be a Bond girl? I don't know that. <laughs>